And how much does something like that go for? $20,000. It's super, look, look, look. Whoa. See that? Ooh, that is insane. Oh my goodness. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another awesome video. Yes, you guys, we are going back to one of the biggest reptile expos. The last time we went, you guys absolutely crushed it. It is my most viewed video. So here we are. We are going to go take another shot at that. See if you guys can give me another 200,000 views on it. We're still wearing the same outfit. We're going to be rocking the SoFlo Reptiles merch here today. If you guys are excited to see this video, make sure you guys are sticking around. And uh, also, make sure you guys have those notification bells smashed so hey, you never know. If this one gets 200K, we'll go and do it again. Right now, we're just packing up. And then we are going to be taking a little ride out to the South Florida Fairgrounds, probably roughly uh, 20 minutes away. I don't know if we're going to get ourselves into any trouble today. I don't know if we're going to be buying anything, but I mean, you all know me, so we will probably end up leaving with something, but we don't, we really don't know yet because we've been doing a lot of buying and we've got some cool videos coming up for you guys. We've got a huge Korean shipment coming in. I say at the end of February, whenever the weather warms up over there, we'll be getting a uh, I'm gonna say I spent maybe five. I'm gonna say I spent about five thousand with uh, Korea. So make sure you guys stick around and uh, look out for that video. It's gonna be coming soon, hopefully. But uh, anyways, you guys, I'm gonna wrap some things up here. Get ready to go, and I'll see you guys at this event. Finally, after dealing with a whole bunch of people that don't know how to drive, we are here, everybody. We are at the South Florida Fairgrounds. So bright, super, super bright out. We've got some VIP access today. This is gonna be a fun one, everybody. So if I were you, I would definitely stick around and watch this video throughout. Walking right in through the back. Let's get it. We've got a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get in here and see what we can find, see what kind of trouble we can get in. Big event, that's for sure, everybody. Look, 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 who do we got that's here? Over. over here at SoFlo, you guys should already know, got the best of the best. So crazy. Their camouflage is insane, dude. Imagine that thing in the wild on like a, a piece of bark or like some moss, you'd never be able to see that thing. My buddy, <laughs> he's got some, uh, he's got some insane crusty geckos on the table. That's like a Korea lily right there. That is like a Korea yeah. lily. By the time that thing is full grown, it's probably gonna be all yeah, white. It's red. All white. Chewy on my there foot. goes the chewy. <laughs> oh, we got your kills. Kills. Even got some really cool plants on the table. One of my favorites. Always coming over here checking out SoFlo. Oh. oh that Chewie is not, dude. He's trying to get away from you, bro. <laughs> oh. Probably the only table with all, all this variety. I mean, you got snakes, Chewies, Cresties, turtles now. Holy um, stuff. Like you know, you, um, you definitely are going to have an opportunity. Get this little scaleless Texas rat snake. Got a green tree python. Some little binos. Yeah, no, I get it. So 100 for him. I have never, big. ever in my life seen a snake like that. I mean, he's got like hints of red going through him. He's almost look like he's pied. It's just that's it a, is pied. That is a crazy snake, dude. How it's much is how much does something like that cost? Um, a lot. Yeah, I probably don't even want to know. A couple, right? at, at least a couple thousand arms. Holy smokes, a couple thousand arms. <laughs> Dude, that thing is insane. Yeah, Holy it is, this is crazy. And they get they get pretty big too. They get really? six feet long. Yeah, six feet long. And they have super pies that are all white with black. But you're keeping that, spots. right? You're keeping that as a holdback. This is no? actually for a buddy of mine. But oh, I have a few oh. holdbacks. Dude, they're on our Instagram, so you guys can check them out. Too. That thing is actually insane. And then he's got one of my favorite snakes of all time on this table. Look at how beautiful that thing is. Look at that black head on that. Amazing striped body right there. Dude, that thing is incredible. We'll probably take this thing out at one point today. So make sure you guys stick around. We're really sitting there just chatting it up with my buddies over at SoFlo. But uh, we haven't even really made any movements to this side of this place. So far it looks massive. 
So I'm gonna flip the camera and give you guys a nice tour. Hopefully you guys like this video. Leave me a thumbs up and leave some comments down below. Let's get right into this. Coming right up to this first table, we've got a lot of snakes here. We've got some nice boas. We've got some ball pythons, of course. Oh, look at these lychee anis geckos. We have some really nice little leopard geckos on this table. Like this one is super beautiful right here. How are you? It's kind of hard to see this guy with the reflection of the light, but this is probably one of the weirdest little lizards I've ever seen in my life. You guys should all know David from Tiki's Geckos right here. Beautiful setup, to say the least. You guys got some cool skinks over here at this table. Some amazing blue tongues. Look at this spiky tail on those guys. Pretty neat animals to say the least. You got some Henry red tail boas. A little rescue right there. And then you guys got some little baby panther chameleons as well on this table. Even got some mystery boxes on the table right here. That is pretty neat. Yeah. You got amazing, amazing little gargoyles right here. You guys are gonna, you guys are gonna hear me say amazing a lot in today's video because all I'm seeing so far is really, really nice. Got some huge, huge crested geckos yeah. on this table. So, Tiki's one, huge. And then you're coming over here, you got a very beautiful lily white exantic. Oh my goodness. That, look at that dark base right there. That is beautiful. Yeah. That is not, an amazing gecko right there. Not fired up, obviously, but nice little male. So he gets darker, huh? Yeah, he gets darker. Holy smokes, dude. That yeah. is amazing right it there. It was darker earlier. And this is a super empty back. Super neat. Billy White Azanti. I already had to show that one. Dude. Yeah, that was yeah, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that one's, that one's oh my cool goodness. too. That one's kind of like purpley. Dude, that one is insane. That was awesome. And some frappuccinos. I know you like your fraps yeah. and all that stuff. <laughs> beautiful frap right there. This one too. Super beautiful. Yeah. Amazing stuff. Always on this table. Amazing stuff. Thank you, bro. If you guys haven't, check out. Tiki's geckos. Appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you. One of my favorite gecko species right here, the electric blue day geckos. Holy smokes. Oof. It's actually my first time holding a Cuban false chameleon. Oh my gosh, dude, the skin feels really neat. Yeah, I just love their scalation on the sides and like, hey, buddy. they're such a cool oh. lizard. <laughs> you got it? Yeah, he's so cool. Dude. He's got like a little beard. <laughs> Super neat. Super amazing animal right there. Yeah. And these guys have a black tongue and they have a big dewlap. She, when they get really mad, they'll kind of like open up their open mouth up. and you see their black tongue, but... Is it super black in there or just like a... Yeah, it's it's super... Look, look, look. Whoa. See that? Dude, that is insane. Yeah. That is insane. What is the diet on these guys? So, they're mostly insect eaters. I know of a lot of people that feed them like even crested gecko diet and stuff. Really? But personally, we have... We see their the reaction the response is better for insects okay so but in the wild they actually eat a lot of snails snails because so, i saw you post a video i think talking about how they eat snails yeah in the wild they eat snails you'll see because they're very slow moving slow moving so. right right and then this is a little baby one right yeah that's a little baby wow super awesome animals yeah and they're, they're not really that popular but i feel like they, they should be more popular than oh they dude are. they're not that popular because at first at a first glance you know they're kind of gray they're kind not gray crazy looking. colors yeah, but right. when you hold one and you see them in person it's just like and the temperament so is cool. awesome i mean you guys yeah. can see right there just yeah super slow and chill animal kind this of is probably like the tamest anole you could ever get yeah super awesome dude thank you for showing us i appreciate for it sure. thank you thank you Here's some pretty cool little bioactive setups that they have just for show right here. It's pretty neat. Yeah, like this one is really, really nice actually. You guys should all recognize 
Guard or something like that goes every time. What's up, what's, what's up? up? What's up, what's Make up? Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe. Yes, All sir. <laughs> Always has some nice stuff on this table. You guys are gonna see a lot of boas on this table. Check out these Asian vine snakes. Look at how crazy that thing looks. Really weird, pointy nose. Really, really wicked looking snake, that's for sure. He's got some cool turtles over on this table and some tortoises. Little cherry heads. These are super, super neat looking right here. Hey little guys. Look at the heads on these ones. Super, super neat patterns. Coming up, you guys, look at how beautiful that pied ball python is. Holy smokes, is that a beautiful snake. You got some more little tortoises. You got some little baby rhino iguanas. These guys are really neat. One of my favorites. I don't look at how amazing this albino cherry head is. Look at that guy. You guys do. See anything you like on this table dude that is actually super 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 amazing right there holy smokes now how much does something like that go for twenty thousand dollars twenty thousand buckaroos for that beautiful animal right there holy smokes dude only one available in the country only one available in the country there's some more neat ball pythons yeah. The pies are all, you guys already know, one of my favorites. Just look at that, he's got a smiley face on him right there. So cool. Look at the color combo of this snake. I mean, you cannot tell me that those are a beautiful mix of colors right there. We are pulling out the pinstripe exanthic and look at how dark the base is on that boy. Oh my goodness. That is a very beautiful crested gecko. Hey, buddy. You want to pose for the camera? Yeah, you do. Hey, oh. There it is. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he is beautiful. There you go, buddy. God, those nails are bright. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking them out and showing us. I of appreciate course. it. That is a dream. Hopefully, we hatch those next season. So, keep our fingers crossed. So, he's going to hold the whole little gang right there. A whole bunch of bearded dragons. Oh, that one is super beautiful right there. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. You get some 100% red monsters right here. So stunning. Over here, the wild cargo's table. You guys know these are a local pet store. Some awesome pies over here at this table. Some huge leopard geckos. So far we've been seeing a lot of crested geckos, a lot of ball pythons. You know guys, the usual, whatever we see is a lot of ball pythons, always a lot of ball pythons. We have also seen a lot of really nice crested geckos here today. And uh, we're thinking about getting something, but I don't know, because I don't want to get myself in any trouble at home. My fiance is probably going to, you know, not be a happy camper if I do end up coming home with anything else. But we will see, because I don't like to ever leave these events empty-handed. So stick around and watch the video throughout to see if I'm going to be buying anything here today. POV of SoFlo Reptiles. Check out this black-headed python over here at SoFlo Reptiles. One of my dream snakes, like I was telling you guys, inside of the tank. Look at how black the head of that animal is. It's literally just shining in the light. Dude, that thing is amazing. It's like bro. glitter. So amazing, bro. Oh my goodness. You know, it's so iridescent, too. Dude, that thing is just amazing. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a fire shot. This is a black headed pipe. 
Pulling up over to this table, Bob's Balls. He has got some of the most insane ball pythons I've ever seen. Guys, right here we're actually coming up to Kaleidoscope Chameleons and we're looking at a very beautiful little yellow body blue bar and below vein. Look at that guy right there. You got the red body blue bar chilling out up there. He is amazing. I guess that was kind of cool to see someone else doing some chameleons. You don't really see a lot of very pretty panther chameleons at these shows. A lot of them are wild caught imports and not in the best shape, but. Uh, big shout out to actually Kaleidoscope Chameleons. They have some really nice ones over there. So if you guys haven't, go and give them a, a look. They've got some really nice panther chameleons. We are at the turtle table right here. Show you guys some really nice and neat little turtles. And some nice cool little snappers right there. I love the painted. Little albino red ear. Look at him just chilling. You got these spiny soft shells. These guys are one of my favorites, my all time favorites right there. Look at how teeny tiny these little Herman's tortoises are. So small. You got some beautiful marginated tortoises as well as these leopard tortoises. So beautiful. Look at how red that bearded dragon is. These little dark frogs. Oh my goodness, look at him. He's like, hey everybody. Look at how cool these little guys are. It's crazy to know that some animals can uh, look this way with these crazy beautiful colors. Look at the size of that lychee. Chewy. I got some really nice little blue tongue skinks over here. These little cute babies. Oh, hi buddy. You got the red eye crocodile skinks. The hypo red foot. Oof. Maybe one day. And I give a question. Yeah, very beautiful little California king right there. Look at the size of this Pac-Man frog. Holy smokes. That right there is a big boy. <laughs> Pixie frog. So far we're seeing a lot of the same kind of stuff. A lot of ball pythons, a lot of crested geckos. But uh, to say the least, we've seen a lot of nice crested geckos and a lot of nice ball pythons. I absolutely love coming to these shows because it's a lot of fun. You see just a different variety, new morphs, old morphs, all of it. It never gets old, so hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. I'm sure you guys all know of Mark's Ark. Me and Paul have been there. Paul has been there quite a lot, but me, I've done one video at Mark's Ark grabbing the... Surprising Paul, actually, with the turtles. I think you guys remember that is way, way long ago. A little pink belly that we had got from Mark Stark for Paul a long time ago. So let me flip the camera, and they are actually bending here, so I'll show you guys what they got on their table. I got some really nice leopard geckos at this table. Like, look at that guy just hanging out. Oh my god, the green tree frogs. There was really cool little paludarium right here. Oh my goodness. Look at that frog. And that's a big no-no right there. Big no-no. Big no-no. No-no. Big no-no. 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 A whole lot of no-nos right here. No Holy smokes, dude. I know who you are. We're fine. After a very long day here walking around and kind of helping my buddy 
So Flow Reptiles with a lot of stuff. I think we are wrapping it up right here. Hopefully I filmed enough stuff for you guys and hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. But with that being said, everybody, we are going to wrap this up right here before we walk out of the event. So I will catch you guys on next week's episode. Peace out.